Wait. There we go. One, two, three. Fuck it. My darling, I love you, 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 Um, let's get this party started. So this is the first piece that I created. Um, as you can see, this was a black button up. I just folded in the buttons so it can give like that really nice V-neck. And then I paired it up with this very pretty sparkly dress. I was very surprised that I found that I found this piece in the thrift store. I paired it up with these green booties because my purse had green accents. Um, so I wanted to bring out the green. I could wear this on a date night or maybe a girl's night out. I really love how it accentuates my body. Also, I guess I'm just very pleased with this look and Okay, so this is look number two. Um, the inspiration for this look was a 90s aesthetic. In the 90s, you always have the plain colors, combos together. Um, every girl in the 90s on TV always wore the short skirt with a turtleneck, so I really use that to motivate this outfit. I paired it up with some black ankle boots um, just something really simple, really nice. I feel like I could add maybe some hoop earrings just to give it more extraness. Um, other than that, I'm really pleased with this outfit. I'm very surprised once again that I found this in the thrift store. Basically, this whole ensemble is thrifted, so I'm really, really happy with that. I think this outfit could be about five to 10 bucks altogether. It's really nice and I feel like I could go anywhere with this outfit. It's really comfortable. Okay, so this is outfit number three. I'm really, really, really happy with this outfit. It's so comfy. Basically everything is thrifted. I just paired it up with some blue shoes to go with my shirt to just bring out the blue a little bit more. I love the way it um, hugs my body. It definitely gives me a little something in the back. Very, very pleased with it. And I feel like I could go on like a little lunch date with this. It's very, very comfy. Definitely wear this during cold weather. Okay, so outfit number four. This is super simple. Definitely is a simple, cute outfit you can wear to like the grocery store or just, you know, relaxing in the house. Let me just grab my purse because purse always adds to the outfit. 
Um, I paired it up with some black sandals that I had. I never really wear these sandals, so I thought this will be something, this is like an excuse to wear them. So I cut the shirt in the front to give it like this really nice bow and to make it tight. The shirt is really smooth to the skin too. It has like this weird texture. I don't really know the exact um, material this shirt is, but it's very, very smooth and it feels so good on the skin. Um, and I really love the print of it as well. I just really enjoyed this outfit. So outfit number five, I am in love with this skirt. It's so flowy, it's so comfortable, it's so pretty and so bright. I put a purple button up with this shirt um, simply because I wanted to bring out more purple in my shoes. My shoes really makes the outfit and I just feel like these simple pieces just kind of like added it all together. This is definitely like a 60s aesthetic. It's very simple, very easy. This is like the best way to wear a button up in my opinion. I'm not really a fan of wearing different shades of the same color, but I feel like this just works so well and I'm very, very happy with the end result. This is outfit number six. I used the same pair of shoes as the last one. I just paired it up with a yellow belt to bring out more yellow into my shoes and kind of like make the whole outfit come together. I just cut up the jeans slightly on the ends and also on the pockets. And I took the button up and I just folded it in and created like this very 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 long v-neck and I just let the tie kind of hang kind of give it like that messy tie look it looks very expensive the fact that I only paid like five bucks for this outfit really blows me away So this is outfit number seven. I was able to take this cardigan and make it into a dress. That alone just wows me. Um, I'm not a fan of flower prints, but I just thought why not give it a chance. I really love how flowy it is. I love how I can just kind of play with this. Um, I could wear it like a regular cardigan and actually have on an have a outfit on under it or I can just keep wearing it like this I probably would pair it up with a bigger belt but I'm very very pleased with this I just paired it up with my micro cores boots I added a knee high socks to it just to kind of give it that extraness but I'm very happy with this I feel like I can go to the park with this and just have a relaxing day in the sun with this very flowy flowery dress Outfit number eight. Um, I love this outfit. It gives such a sexy look to me. Um, I love how sensual it makes me and the way I can just walk and it just flows in the right direction. Um, this is my little house on the prairie skirt. I looked at this skirt in the thrift store and I don't know, something told me to get it. I always wanted a ankle length kind of jean skirt but I never thought I would find a cloth-like skirt. 
like a tablecloth. That's what it kind of reminded me of. And I just pieced it with this um, shirt that kind of like had the same color to it. I also just took some fabric and I tied it around the straps to give it like an extra look to it. It's just so beautiful and I'm very happy. Here's outfit number nine. The shirt itself is very festive and colorful. So I paired it up with this beautiful flowy orange skirt. And then I added just a, some tan heels because I don't really have any other heels to pair it up with. But nude is always the best option for anything. Um, I feel like it can go with anything so that's what I did. I feel like I definitely need like a really long necklace to piece this all together but other than that, I'm very, very happy with this. I feel like I could have a, um, a brunch, go to a brunch with this outfit on. This is outfit number 10. Um, I didn't show a before picture of this shirt, but basically all I did was just cut a little bit of the front of the shirt to give it a more um, pleasing look to my cleavage area. It adds sexiness to any outfit. Um, and then I piece it up with a mini skirt and a printed belt that matched my tan boots and it just kind of all flowed together. Um, I really, really like this. I feel like I can go out to eat somewhere, maybe another girls' night. Um, this is just a definitely, definitely a casual fit that I could wear almost anywhere. Outfit number 11. Um, I am very happy with the fact that I found a low-waisted shorts. I love low-waist jeans, uh, skirts, anything that's low-waisted. I just feel like it looks so good on my body. I don't own any low-waisted shorts, so I'm very happy about that. And then I paired it up with this t-shirt. I cut it, I think I cut it a little too short, but I'm still very happy with it. Um, the reason why I got this shirt is because the name on the shirt is really funny. Um, the best thing about thrift shopping is finding funny tees, so I'm very happy with that. And then I paired it up with my yellow filas, and I think I could go to like a baseball game or some, something with this outfit on. Um, it's definitely for the summer, and I don't really, I don't know, I think adding a little jacket to it makes it all the better. Here's outfit number 12. Um, as you can see, I have on low waisted shorts. Very, very happy with this because as I said before, I love low waist anything. Then I paired it up with this jersey shirt that I found at the thrift store as well. And I added a jean jacket to it because I thought that just, I don't know, something about a jersey and jeans really goes together. I'm not really the type of person to wear um, jeans on jeans, but for some reason this just seemed to go well. Then I added heels because heels can make any outfit all the better and I'm very, very pleased with this look. Last 
but not least is outfit number 13. Um, I, so first off, the dress that I'm wearing is actually a skirt, um, but I thought why not wear it as a dress, give it a, give it that bodycon look, and then I paired it up with my cardigan, or is that a cardigan? Um, I don't think that's called a cardigan, but anyway, I added my silk pink cardigan to it, and then I added my boots, my knee highs, because I think that's the only thing that actually has some type of like uh, pizzazz to it. Then I added my black purse that I got from Forever 21 and I don't know, something, I feel like I'm missing something from this look but other than that I'm, I am very happy with this look. I think it's very cute, um, I think I can go out to dancing, to the club, anywhere with this outfit. Um, it's very on the... Uh, risque side and I like that Hi guys, I hope you love the runway show I just did. Um, hopefully you enjoy the outfits I created. It was pretty, it was fairly easy I will say. Um, when I went to the thrift store I was a little on the negative side with all the pieces. I didn't really think I would do such a good job with finding outfits, but I did. I spent about $59.88, here is the receipt. I spent 60 bucks for like a loads and loads and loads of clothes. I really hope that you guys got inspired from some pieces and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe, download, save this video, do what you will with this video. Um, let me know if I should do another thrift store video and also leave a comment if any of the outfits that I had was your favorite. And that's it. Bye.